Search on TNT is presented by Nerd Wallet out on Beale Street. Got to get those folks over to a TV set ready for the second half with the Grizzlies in front 59 to 44. Let's check out our coaching adjustments presented by Progressive. Give me real simple. This is who Memphis is. They love to put the ball in the paint and they play right into the hands. The Lakers did of what they wanted to do well. 38 points. Got to limit that. But also for Memphis, you take care of the basketball, take good shots offensively. Now the Lakers can't get out of run. I thought they did an excellent job of limiting those turnovers for themselves. And what about no John Morant? I and Eagles, Jim Jackson, Jared Greenberg, how they handle themselves without him? Normal as usual. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, because unfortunately, when you have a star player that misses some games, you have to be used and comfortable playing that type of basketball. And this team didn't miss a beat. Actually, I thought they came out more aggressive yeah. with something to prove, a chip on their shoulder that they can get this done against this highly talented Lakers team. Uh, right over there. I see it now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he pointed right to it. Right there. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah. It, it's the chip. All right, let's check in with Jared. Had a chance to chat with Darvin Ham. Yeah, Bird. Darvin Ham was not happy with the team's lack of first half energy. Says we got to create a sense of urgency here in the second half. Do a better job picking up at the point of attack. He was pleased how they controlled themselves with only two second quarter turnovers. Clearly wants to keep up that pace moving forward. And Jared Anthony Davis had five blocks, but he shot one of nine from the field. D'Angelo Russell just one of four. Bain got the scoring started in the first. And once again, it's Tillman crashing the boards for the follow bucket. But that's the versatility of how this Memphis team is able to score in the paint. It's not like somebody's posting up or it's one particular way. It's offensive rebounds, it's fast break points, second chance points. Excellent job that time by Tillman. D'Angelo Russell off the mark. Tillman is now 7 of 8 from the field. He's got 7 boards as well. Bain switch. Now it's Brooks out front. Bounce it. Jackson denied by Davis. And he kept it in play. Retrieved by the Lakers. I actually think that was a lob. He was trying to attempt to Tillman on the backside. Bounces off of Brooks. And he is out of bounds. Trying to save it for Tillman. 58 seconds gone by in this third quarter. But watch here. This is a lob attempt. And Anthony Davis does an excellent job of tipping the basketball. Good position first of all by Dylan Brooks and then hands up able to deflect the pass easy Vanderbilt around the rim he couldn't finish it Russell nothing's going down and LeBron James hasn't really touched it in this second half so far and even in the first half you just look at the numbers yeah. five of nine 12 points six boards again a breakdown Tillman has himself another deuce and you look up, the lead is ballooned to 19 in favor of the Grizzlies. James gives it up. Vanderbilt rejected, but a foul on Tillman. The Lakers are 15 of 46 from the field, 33%. And Vanderbilt will get a pair. Well, the challenge too is this one. Memphis is out without their best player. They're going to come in with all kind of energy. It would almost be impossible for the Lakers to match that. But you can't beat yourself by making ill-advised plays that play into their hand. You know, it's impossible to ask that you have the same energy. I think sometimes when you have a wounded team that has something to prove, but you can't beat yourself, which the Lakers have been doing, but credit that to Memphis as well. Lakers led the NBA in free throw attempts this season, 26.6 per game. Tonight, they're 12 of 17 at the line. Memphis is up big. They have attempted just five free throws, two out of five. Brooks to Tillman. He's going to try it and connect from the outside. Xavier Tillman is not necessarily known for his perimeter presence, although he shot it at 27% from downtown this season. James, the answer? No. Rebounded by Tillman. Terrific all-around performance from Xavier Tillman. 19 points, 8 boards. The cross, the step back. Rims out for Bain. He would have had a highlight. The lead is now 20. Reeves, the cutter, James. Gives it up. Vanderbilt drives it out. James lines it up. Misses on a three ball. Long rebound. Reeves takes it strong for two. Make 
Ravens have to just find a way to grind it out to see if they can slow down this Memphis team. But look, Memphis, they're doing an excellent job of not taking their foot off the pedal and applying the pressure off into foul. Contact, Vanderbilt goes down. It's going to go the other way. And Xavier Tillman just doing all the little things. And I had the pleasure of watching this young man, his growth in his career at Michigan State. No different then than it is now in regards to just figuring out ways to be effective as a player, as a teammate on the court and add value. Doesn't it feel like Xavier Tillman's been around forever? <laughs> like, truly. He's in his third year. He's 24 years old.